Get this, mobile payment options are now popping up in transit systems in metropolitan areas around the world. And guess who has a story? It's Lauren Good. I have a question for you. Yes. If you were riding the subway and you had the option to buy lipstick while you're on the subway or in a taxi cab, would you would you do it? If I had the option to buy lipstick, <laughs> other things maybe. Not lipstick though. I, you know, lipstick. You know, maybe not. <laughs> I mean, I might, you know, might buy you some lipstick, but. Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, our, our subways here so in New York City don't exactly lend themselves to doing <laughs> that because, it, I mean, a constant jostling of elbows. And, you right. Know, and there are, you can't get cellular service in a lot of the subways yeah, in that New York aside. City. But in Singapore, it's different. So what yeah. PayPal is doing, this is part of a growing trend, what PayPal is doing is they're rolling out a, a test pilot uh, in Singapore mm, starting yeah. today where um, strap hangers, as we like to call them, or people that are passing through the subway the system. Strap like this. Stra that's exactly. Um, can I just no, want you I'm going to do that. Like I'm hanging. See, so this, this is what Lauren and I look like in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. With strap hanging all the way there. That gives you one hand free for your smartphone, right? That's right. That's so the idea. You, okay. But it's actually, so it's not while they're necessarily strap hanging, but while they're in the subway terminals. Um, They'll see a billboard or a poster that has a you know a barcode on mm. it. They use a QR code application on their smartphone. They can swipe the barcode. That's the and squiggly would, little thing, square thing, right? That's yeah. right. And it yeah. would prompt them to pay for something through a PayPal account on their smartphone if something strikes their fancy. And because it's we're near, nearing Valentine's Day, uh, a lot of these items are Valentine's Day themed gifts at reduced prices and that sort of thing. So it's just a test right now, but this is kind of part of a trend. Uh, the Wall Street Journal's Russell Adams reported earlier mm. this week that Glamour Magazine for Fashion Week, they're testing out in 50 cabs across New York City. And by the way, if you get in one of these cabs, your ride is free. So you better hope that you get in one of these beauty product cabs. But so, I, so I can get some <laughs> lipstick so some that I don't need. But right. yeah, or maybe I do need it, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but there will be something called Snap Tags, yeah. uh, powered by Spiderlink and then Verifone, who mm. powers all the payments in cabs mm. now, um, where you can see something on the screen and if a beauty product, and if you want to buy it, you can buy it right then and there in the cab. So it's in some ways, it's merchants and retailers looking, you know, at different places where consumers might want to buy something. They're trying to gauge their appetites. But mm. in the mobile payments world, it's literally taking mobile payments on your the, mobile phone and making them very the, mobile. I mean, you are literally on the go, and you could just buy something. So this is the Im the impulse buy of branded products that you know know you want. And you know, that's it's why funny you say the word impulse because someone else said that to me as well. It, that it's about impulse buying. It is, but it isn't. I mean, it's impulse in, in trials. Right Right, and it's something, oh, I want that. I'm just going to swipe and buy it. But it's also, I mean, if something like this were to really take off, uh, you pass by a billboard, you see an ad for paper towels on sale, and you think, you know, I need those, actually. Mm. I, I generally order them in bulk from an online retailer to begin with. I'll sh I should just get them now. And so it is, it's impulse. It's, it's a test. It's a trial. It's all so very relatively new, but could become good. standard. Could, could become standard, but let's think about the New York City subway right now and, and me coming to work this morning on the subway doing, doing this, strap hanging away. Lots of ads urging me to train as an electrician. Right? That I mean I mean that's it's gonna change Or the, go back for another degree. Or go back for yet another degree, mm -hmm. yeah. But I mean uh, of something I, I just don't want to study. So that seems to be or to, you know, you know, take care of yourself and stop smoking. Th those are the sorts of ads we get on the subway here. Is this sort of thing going to completely change the ads we get on the subway? It's a really good question. I think it comes down to ease of use. There are different technologies now that power mobile payments. On, in some cases, if it's near field communications, the technology has to be built into the terminal as well as into the phone. So that could be a potential barrier. And then, as you mentioned, if, it's, if it becomes something that big mainstream brands are doing, big merchants, big retailers, then maybe it has more of a chance of catching on than if it's those obscure companies or ads or marketers that you look at and you don't really think it's very legitimate.